So you're the final three castaways left in this game. But Lauren has a little sp something special for you. Are you guys ready for your final three immunity challenge? Yep. <laughs> yes. It is a classic. For this challenge, you're going to be playing what on a hard idol. You'll be holding a wall sit for as long as you can. Last person left up wins immunity. Guaranteed a spot <laughs> in the final two where they will get to pitch their case to the jury. In turn, they will also be deciding who they want to take with them to sit next to in the final two. All right. For immunity and the spot in the final tribal council, Survivors ready. Go. 10, 9, 8. Garrett, seven, you're good. Six, Brett, you're good. Celsius, five, you're good. Four, three, two, one. This challenge is on. They're going to have to hold a wall sit for as long as they can. If they fall, oh my God, they are I'm out. so fucked. <laughs> How long can you endure the pain? Not long. That's the answer. Celestina already in pain. Same. That's the answer, my friend. Brett That's is as man. well, apparently. We have a Brett, reprise of Celestina singing through the pain. <laughs> <sighs> I wait so much. Oh. You've made it this far in the game. You don't oh, want to give up now. I can't. I'm sorry. So I was out. Out. Down I to my rip socks. Brett and Garrett for a spot in the final two. Brett shouldn't have eaten that pizza earlier. Uh, oh, wow. pizza. You both have this. You're doing very oh, good. Yeah, Garrett, you did have pizza too. <laughs> yep, pizza gang. They're both using the hands on the knees strategy, that trying to really relieve good. some of the pain. Brett looks like he found a comfortable spot. It's not. <laughs> Both fighting to stay up. Garrett, Garrett falls. Brett wins immunity. Guaranteed spot in the final two. Good job, both of you. You did so good. Congrats, oh my dude. Gosh. My legs. <laughs> oh. It sucks. It sucks. But you know what? I've been on borrowed time since like final 11. So I can't be, can't be mad I'm going out here. I'll try, but I don't think it's going to happen. Fuck. I try, I try my best with that wall sit. So we're going to the final two. Um, Garrett's story is Thank very good. Um, no offense to him, but he played a very good game. And I think me and you will be more of an even match. And yeah. <laughs> you still Thanks. sitting? I am. It was really good. He said he's going to take me and I'm hopeful that he will take me. It only makes sense because going against Garrett is like, that. that's, um, you know. It'll, it'll be hard to beat him. Uh, I'm not, never say never, you know, this has been a game of twists and turns, but I do think he'll stick to his word and it'll be fun to just duke it out together. I mean, you know what? I'll take my spot as final three Rob King. Um, you know? Yeah, I mean, I thought I was going to be an irrelevant merge slash right after merge boot. So, you know, I made it as far as I could. I'm going to try pleading, but, you know, I don't think he's going to bite. So I think you played an amazing game, and I think 
I don't know if you, uh, you would decimate me. I think I might pull one or two votes, but I think your story, like you came in literally seven to two. And the fact that you were able to like fool everyone about the idol was like pro level. And I just think there's so much you could say. Like I've been trying to get you out for like five like tribal councils because like I think you're that so you for us to go to the end together you know no I didn't want to go to the end with you because like you were the one person I was like 100% certain would be me so I'm like I can't go to the end with him because you yeah that's why I also that's why I went after Jay instead of Bill because I saw how you kept voting for Bill and I'm like oh maybe he'll go after Bill and not me but you, yeah, it's, that was painful. It you, was you very painful. Good job. You wouldn't, like, I'm going to give one quick pitch. I mean, I know what you're thinking. I'm just going to throw it out there because you know the jury better than I do. And if you think this might be the jury, I want you to consider this. Um, I think that I probably came off very confrontational and very um, aggressive. But I mean, I was backed in that corner. I had to. Um, Celestina has been the biggest sweetheart this whole game. And if you think the jury is going to value social bonds, as their number one, I think Celestina takes it. Um, I don't know the jury very well. I didn't actually get to talk to a lot of them. But if you think social bonds are going to be the number one value, I think Celestina gets it. Um, I think I probably put off a few people um, with how I kind of acted to get where I would did. I don't think I would got there without acting that way. But, you know, so that, that's my pitch. That is, that is <laughs> tough because I think if they're like – if they're like game playing wise, I think you would stand more of a like, like you'd be more of a threat, but you're right. Um, that puts it a different perspective because she definitely has a bigger bond and people seem to really like her a lot more than like us. Yeah, she's an absolute sweetheart. Like literally uh, I felt really bad on 509 when I was gonna play the idol because like I got on a call with, it was like her and James. I was in a breakout room. I was like, it's me, right? And then like, she was like, had some tears going like she was legitimately she legitimately felt bad about everybody she voted out and i thought it was really easy to see it made me be like oh like it made me feel better in that moment you know? i know it's a lot of it people really just that it's way. i need to like think of how like the jury votes i feel like on the jury i could really get um i could get j m even though i know that i did vote him out and i really might have hurt his feelings I want to just tell him that, you know, what we had was real. And I just wanted to make sure that, you know, at the end, I didn't want to go out in a tiebreaker. And so hopefully he'll understand that. I think James might be hard to get because even though I like love James and was like, James, 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 he's been kind of like a quiet force in the game. And so I really don't know where his head stands and also whether he's awake or not. So that <laughs> might be an interesting factor. Honestly, for Celestina, I know she initiated the removal of, well, the eviction, the um, snuffing of the torch of Vinny. So that's one thing she did, and she did win an immunity idol. But not an immunity idol, immunity challenge. But besides that, she hasn't done much. So I do understand Garrett's standpoint where she has more of a bond with people. But I feel like this group of people might vote for who won more immunity challenges and I could say like I helped get rid of Tom and I things like that and I think I think Garrett maybe I could beat him maybe but I think he would he's just there's just why even risk that the only benefit of bringing him is I could say oh look I brought the stronger player just to prove a point and I'm like what's the point of risking that but I would probably rather lose to Garrett than Celestina because he played a good game. Well, she did too, but he played like probably one of the better ones. Final three tribal council. We had our last individual immunity challenge, Brett. It was the dreaded wall sit and you come out on top, which means you get to plead your case to the jury, but you also have to make an important decision with who you bring with you. So what's the feeling like knowing that, yes, you're safe, but then also having to decide who to bring with you? 
Well, I've listened to both of them explain or tell me why they would be better to take. And they both made pretty interesting arguments, completely different arguments, one social, one more game player. It's, so it was, I kind of went into it thinking I was going to go one way, but then I was questioning my decision a bit. Does that answer? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Can you answer my question? Before we get to the vote, Garrett, Celestina, do you have anything else you want to say to Brett before he makes this decision? No pressure. I respect your decision. I had a wonderful time and I just appreciate being here in the final three with you both. It's been a wonderful game. I'm just very impressed with, I'm just proud of myself and I think we all did a really good job. So. <laughs> I agree. Same thing on my end. Respect your decision either way. So proud of all three of us making it here. Really excited I was able to make it this far. I'd love to go final two with you, but you know, it's your decision in the end. So respect either way. It's been great playing with both of you. You know, he played a great game, but Garrett, you are too threatening and I'm not in the mood. I'll go count the vote, tally the vote, <laughs> the single vote. I'm gonna count one vote. <laughs> oh, look at that, it was so fast. Your fast counter. You didn't Thanks. hurt yourself this time. Yeah, I, I made it, we're good. Once the vote is read, the decision is final. The person will be asked to leave the Zoom call. I'll read the vote. The final member of our jury, Garrett. You played you such a good job. Game. Thank you. You really were so good. I mean, what a game. It was brutal. My back was against the wall the entire time. Literally had to just go, go, go. I never thought I was going to make it past final eight. Never thought I was going to make it past final seven, six, five, four here. You know, I did what I could. I took lemons. I made a whole damn cake out of it. And I mean, I'm proud of myself. Uh, I don't think I could have played that better with the hand I was dealt, um, other than by being able to waltz it more. Um, so, you know, gave it all I could. All right, you guys, let's wrap this fantastic season up and put a bow on it. Here's how it's going to work. Final Tribal Council, we will have opening statements. Then jury members, you will have the opportunity to address both Brett and Celestina, if you choose, you can ask one question and one question only. You can decide if you want to ask just Brett a question or just Celestina or both of them or we're not asking multiple questions. You can also choose not to ask a question and just simply make a comment. I know everyone is ready to wrap this shit up, so I'm not going to let this linger anymore. And then from there, jury, after you ask your question or make your comment, Brett and Celestina will have a closing statement and then we will get to the vote. But with that being said, Brett, Celestina, congratulations on making it to the final two. The power now shifts to the jury who you had a hand in directly or indirectly voting out of this game. You now have the chance to pitch your case on why you should be the winner of this season. Brett, we'll start with you with your opening statement. So I came into this wanting to be uh, social. I didn't think I was going to really be good in challenges, but I ended up doing well in that ping pong challenge in the beginning. And then I won two immunity challenges, including the final one, which was the... Um, the wall sit so that was definitely good and then the whole goal my goal going into the merge it was I think two to seven and I wanted to kind of mix things up but it was a bit tough and then eventually I was able to speak with Garrett well kind of hint to Garrett that I wanted to get out Tom and then I think he understood that that's where I was going at. And then I, I was in a room with um, 
so many names, but I was in a room with um, Garrett, Vinny, and I think Jay, both Jays. And I said, I kind of initiated the blind side of Tom and it had nothing to do with Tom as a person. I think Tom is the ideal winner. He's the nice guy. He's awesome. I think he's good in challenges and he's kind of threatening. So if you kind of, he's kind of that person when you watch Survivor and they kind of keep outlasting everyone and you're like, why? So I'm like, it might be a good time to get him out now. And then especially when there's JS and Garrett still there. So we could kind of maybe still have them. It just so happened that Garrett kept winning and that kind of prolonged things. And then there was a moment when, um, this is towards the end when I initiated getting JM out or I helped facilitate it because I love Jay. But um, the thing is that Garrett, I think viewed Bill as threatening. So I thought keeping Jay in might put more Garrett's mind onto me just in case Garrett wins immunity and his vote. So I thought, oh, if we get Jay out, there's not a lot of people left. So Garrett could maybe focus on Bill and that's kind of what happened. And then what happened next was they, I convinced them, I don't know if I convinced them, but Bill ended up going because, and they kept me. And basically because I facilitated the JM um, snuffing of the torch, Bill was still in the game and he was still like a shield for me. And then he went. So that's kind of everything I did. And then I also only received one vote the whole entire time. And that was when it was final four and Bill kind of had to vote for me or Celestina, but he voted for me. But yeah, that's kind of how I played. I tried to stay loyal with everyone. I didn't really want to turn on anyone. I was loyal to James and Vinny and, but then when James got out, that was kind of, that kind of flipped things upside down and yeah. And then sometimes the votes kind of, everyone was voting one way and I'm like, I kind of have to go with that, those votes that kind of happened with Vinny that I kind of, I kind of had to vote against him, even though I didn't really want to, but well, that's my life. Um, yeah, that's really it. Thanks, Brett. Celestina. Hi, everyone. It's great to see everybody's faces again. Um, I had so much fun and I appreciate everybody's role and like the journey that we had here and definitely helped me get to this point. So I do appreciate that. I wanted to just start off by highlighting that I went in thinking I'm definitely not going to win. I'm not a like strategic person. I'm not an athletic person, physical, those types of things. But what I am is very charismatic and kind, and funny. And I was hoping that that would mean something in this game. And I think that it did. And I, I hope that you're able to see that today. I also wanted to highlight that there were not a lot of women in this game. And at the beginning, they kind of were on the other tribe, a lot of them. And I was able to kind of go through um, with that pit, that sort of like barrier and kind of make it through. And I think that that's important, um, that at least important for me. Hopefully it's important um, for other people also as well. Um, and then also I won a challenge, which like that made me happy personally. Um, I won an individual immunity challenge using kind of my, my knowledge and understanding of the social dynamics of the game, which I think says something about the social game that I had also. And lastly, I also say, you know what, I'm a messy person, I'm scattery, and I usually you don't see those types of people make it to the final two, but I think that says something and who says that, you know, a messy scattery person can't win a game of Survivor, many. So thank you so much and I understand your decision at the end of the day and uh, wish you all the best. All Thanks, right. Celestina. James, you're up first. <laughs> well, this was a long time coming. Um, 
<laughs> but here I am. I just want to commend the two of you of reaching this far. Um, it's I know it's not that easy to, given the situation that um, you're dealt. I'm sure that both of you have different stories to tell, but I just want to um, ask, uh, I just want to ask each of you, um, like, just names without any reason, okay? Just names without any reason. Who do you think in the jury would vote for you? All right, uh, Celestina, you can go first. Well, I would hope that everyone, you know, would vote for me in a, in a different way, but I guess from the relationship dynamics that I had, I would say maybe JM would vote for me just because we did have a, um, I think a solid relationship. Okay. All right. Um, Brett. I think, I think Vinny, because I think me and him had like a connection throughout the whole time. And we were on the same tribe the entire time. And I think we are friends and we have similar interests. So that's really it. We'll be Facebook friends. <laughs> um, I guess that's it from me because I can't say much about your, um, I can't ask much of it. Um, ask much about your late game because I wasn't there so I cannot assess really so um I'll just base it off from the questions of the other members of the jury but congratulations once again guys and um yeah good luck thank, thank you, James. you James Tom oh Celestina and Brett it is good to see two Dak Dak here at the end you tried to to let Awoda win. You tried really hard to let Garrett <laughs> win. Uh, revenge is a dish best served often, and we almost got to that sweet, sweet Garrett victory that we were so richly owed. Um, I I appreciate trying to get out a big threat, Brett. I was coming for you at seven. You got me by one. Uh, Celestina, I appreciate you played with your heart on your sleeve. I hope it was an act. I hope that the tears for the Woda weren't, weren't real. I hope that, that that was pulling the wool over us. So here's my question. My question is, when were you going to cut the Dak Dak? And if you weren't going to cut the Dak Dak, how did you pull in Garrett and Jay? Who is Brett, this? We'll start with you this time. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go first with, with Brett and then Celestina. My goal, honestly, before James uh, got out by rocks, I wanted to confront JS and um, Garrett and form a group of five against you for Dak Dak with me, with Vinny and James also, because we were in that group, but the problem was there was a time where we were, a lot of us were in the scramble room, but you, Tom, were there. So the problem is we couldn't get, it, it, this is just a different hardship because like, we can't get separated. So I'm like, there's nothing I could really do or say unless I tell you. So luckily it ended up working out where, um, we got to pull them in, but like, I want, that's what I wanted. I wanted it to be like us five because I thought that you four Dak Dak were going to get us all out eventually. I was even telling Vinny and James that I thought that's what was going to happen. Does that answer the question? <laughs> Celestina? My turn. Okay. So contrary to popular belief, I actually don't, think that I just was like, oh yeah, I'm going to just let Garrett, you know, slide over to the end. I voted for Garrett most of the time, actually. Um, I, the, the first time when the time when you went, I didn't, I voted um, for Garrett, even though I didn't want to. And I like, it. I wanted something exciting because I felt like, you know, it was, 
that that's what I really wanted, but that's not what was happening that time. So I did stay true to doc doc. And I, and I did that. And I was shocked when you went home, when you went home. And so after that, I looked, I looked and said, okay, well, it seems like everybody's kind of doing their own thing now. Um, and so that's kind of when the game spun on its head. Um, but ever since then, unless Garrett was safe from immunity, I definitely was voting for him. The only other time was when I, um, I helped to, uh, I wanted something a little bit different and uh, voted for Benny. So, and I'm happy to explain that, that move earlier too, but I just wanted to clear that up. Thing is I voted for Garrett as well, three times actually. So I was trying to get him out the whole time (laughs) and he just wouldn't leave, but that's his talent. Well, to my blues clues, but buddy, uh, have a good one guys. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Thanks, Tom. Vinny. <laughs> oh. oh. No. Did he, just, did he just leave? He's like, I think he just got kicked. Like, just <laughs> as. All right. Oh. Oh, wait. We back. We back. We back. We good. Vinny, you're so on I'm the just, clock. I'm just not going to touch my phone. I'm just not going to touch my phone. No, you're gonna... on the clock. Let's do this. Oh, it's my turn. Yeah. <laughs> there is so much I could say about you two. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know this game. I had so much fun, but it was the, the technical difficulty that I, I like went into the confessional and they pulled me in after I came back finally. And I, I was so pissed off. I was just, I was done. I didn't get a straight answer that that uh, round. I figured I was going. Um, but after that, after I took some time to breathe, I had to think about like, who has, who's playing the game right now? Who's playing a great game? Um, both of you are playing good games. I think right now, before, actually, before we even started this, I had uh, one person in mind, and then now we're doing the, the questions, and I don't know. I have no questions. I want to hear what everyone else can come up with to make up my mind. The only, I do have a question, but it's just sort of a cop-out question, so I'd rather not. All right. All right. Thanks, Vinny. JS, you're up. All right, good to see you guys. Uh, congratulations on getting to the final two. I think you both played good games and uh, very different games. Um, Celestia, you were you had a great social game. Uh, Brett, you had a good combination of comp wins and, and strategy. Um, so I'm I'm telling you right now, my vote is still somewhat up in the air. Um, so with that, my question is, uh, why should I not vote for? Uh, you know, your opponent. Uh, Brett, we'll start with you. Um, I think Celestina, uh, she played a great game, but I also think it wasn't, I don't think she did much. Um, I think I did a bit more than she did. I think she was, she has an amazing personality. She's an amazing person and she did play a great game, but I guess if if we're comparing each other, I did a little bit more than her in regards to strategy and trying to play the game and vote people out. I don't know if she really like voted people out. I don't know if she would, her strategy was a bit less than mine. So yeah. Well, okay. So I, I think that I, one one impressive thing about me is I didn't get a vote cast toward me, and I think that that's pretty impressive. Um, you got one. And I, I and you yes, yeah, so and you got one. So I guess you know there's that. But also, I mean, I would say too that uh, uh, I know everybody was saying that you know Brett was strategic, and he definitely was. And I would say that I did have a strategic moment, and I think that that was I would say that I kind of put in the ear to orchestrate the the Venny. Um, vote out because at that time nobody was thinking about that and so I kind of did things under the radar um in a way that sort of was like 
nobody really know knew. And that's why people were like, Oh, you're not, you know, you didn't do anything strategic. And maybe I didn't mostly, but I definitely had that one moment. And I think that that was a pivotal moment because um, Garrett didn't go home. So. Awesome. Thank you for your answers. Thanks, Jay. JM, Thank you. you're up. All right. I mean, this is extremely hard for me. It's still very new. I mean, Brad, I've heard what I had to say from you. I have a question with Celestina, but I will take you up on the mm -hmm. coffee date. Just saying. Um, you're over it. Celestina, I want to know, you know, can I tell them? Do uh, you care? You can um, tell. We had a, um, anyone to know, me and Celestina know it's each other outside the game. So I was able to form that bond with you right away. I went to you first before anyone else, and I told you I was never writing your name down in this game. And I was going to take you to dance. I want to know, be honest with me, and I don't, I want to know, did you vote for me at Final Five and get me voted out? Yes, and I did. If you did, why? Oh. oh, yes, I did. And I felt really, really bad about it. I really did. The main reason why I voted you out was because I didn't want there to be a tiebreaker. And I know that we had that connection, but at the end of the, at the end of the day, you know, you or me, I do have to choose myself. And I didn't want there to be a tiebreaker with the new rule that immediately when there's a tiebreaker, you know, I, I go home. So that's basically the only reason why I did that. I really didn't want to. And so I did feel really, really bad about it, especially because I know that you were going to take me to the final two. And I was actually planning on doing that too, but it just, in that moment, I really had to look out for myself and I felt really bad about it. So yeah, I'm thank sorry. You. I do appreciate your answer. And I appreciate your honesty. Okay, thank you, Jay. Bill. Hello all, congratulations to the two of you. Um, it was like, it was great fun playing with all of you and watching the two of you play. Um, what I want to know, and I don't want to, I would like to know from each of you, what role, good or bad, the other person had in terms of your advancement to the game. I want to know, I don't have a real sense. Did you work closely together? Did you work closely against, or did you, did you at various times target each other? Um, I want to know what your thinking was and what, where your opponent placed in terms of your strategy. We'll start with Celestina this time. Well, it was interesting because at the beginning, I feel like, you know, Brett and I were friendly, but I always in conversations, I definitely really want it to be in an alliance with Brett because I, I even told people, I said, I feel like we're playing a very similar game and that we both, you know, have that charisma and that kind of social prowess. And so I really admired that. And it was definitely someone that I, you know, kept looking for uh, toward. I don't think we were like super, super close, but I think we always kind of came back to each other. And it was so something that we kind of looked and we were like, this is something we have to do. And we kind of both took that seriously. And we both understood the predicament we were in and just took that seriously. And so that's kind of the relationship we had. Um, and in a way it was actually kind of strategic, but we, but I also really wanted to align with him because, you know, I felt like we were similar and I really just enjoy Brett as a person. I think the, the beginning, um, I thought Celestina was mysterious. I didn't know if, <laughs> not in a bad way. I just didn't know if like you liked me or wanted to like work together. And then we had the tribe swap. And then we obviously, we were aligned, but we weren't, we weren't always like voting, I guess the same, but it's when towards the end that it was, I believe it was me, you, um, Bill and Jay, we decided that it's going to be us four to get out JS and Garrett because they were getting too strong. So I think that's where we started to really align. Like before that we were, we were allies, but it wasn't like we were playing the same game. But you're awesome. Thank and you. And we do Likewise. love Chipotle. Yes, we do. <laughs> Y'all welcome. Thank you, Bill. Garrett, take us home. All right. So my first part is Qdoba is better than Chipotle. 
And then, um, yeah, otherwise, though, I feel like you guys both played really strong social and strategic games. Maybe Celestine a little bit more on the social side. Like, my big reason to maybe vote for you is the fact that you were the person who showed me empathy when nobody else did at that first tribal. And I really loved that and respected that. Um, and then, Brett, you knocked me out in that wall set. So, for me, it's kind of a wash right now. So, my question is, walk me through every time you voted me out. And, yeah, how many times? All right. Brett? Um, I... I voted you, I, I wrote down, I have them. I voted you three times. Um, I tried to get you out a bunch of times and it's because honestly, out of everyone, you were, you were the most, the biggest competition. You were definitely somebody who I really did not feel like, I mean, maybe I could, I could get some votes, but you were very competitive and you had a great story. That was the, the big thing that's why i wanted to get you out you came in two against seven so it's you just had such a good story so i feel like if you made it to the end with anyone it was just and also you were i mean you're a good person to hang out around you you like calm down from the whole idol thing and then um yeah and then you were also very believable with the idol situation so it's <laughs> So it's, I knew you didn't have it, but I also didn't know you didn't have it. So it's like, you were very believable. So it's like, I'm like, he's playing a very good game. So I'm like, I need to get him out, but you just, you kept winning immunities. And there was a time that people kept voting for Bill and not you. So yeah, so it's, that's what happens. Yeah, and on my end, I also voted you three times, but again, that's just a testament to how dangerous you were in the game. If, I mean, you just kept, you know, doing all of these compelling things. You would win challenges. And honestly, as a Survivor fan myself, you're the type of person that I would be rooting for on the TV. I'd be like, no. So like, if you like were, um, you know, got cut at the last minute. And so I knew that, I mean, I wouldn't have a chance. I mean, maybe I would have like a slight chance, I guess, but um, that's why I voted. And I think it's more of a compliment to your gameplay but you played a fantastic game. And I think everybody in this, um, this jury could, could attest to that. Thank you guys very much. Y'all are making it tough on me. <laughs> Thanks Garrett. All right, Brett, Celestina, quick closing statement. Celestina, we'll start with you. Well, I'm just a, a simple Pacific Northwest girl from Seattle. Um, who likes the sound of rain and, you know, watching true crime, but, <laughs> but I, I, and I'm not someone who really is like tech, tech savvy. And I came in was like, I have no idea what's happening. It was overwhelming. And somehow I'm here. And I think that that it has very much to do with the relationships I built with everybody and the journey that we all were on together. And so again, I just want to thank everyone here for the part that they played in this and also for you to think, think about how important a social game is and in, in, in the game of Survivor or Survivor Mini in this case, um, what, when you go to cast your vote. And again, no hard feelings. Um, I enjoyed playing with everyone. And if you're ever in Seattle or Washington State, I would love to hang out with you and show you around. Thanks, Celestina. Brett? Um, well, I also want to thank everybody. I mean, this was a great experience. I would love to do something like this again. And it was great meeting all of you. And if anyone's in New Jersey, Jay, I'm sure we could, I'm sure we could share email. Well, we could share numbers. My number's not a secret. So we could grab a coffee or a drink or something. But overall, I mean, I think i have gain relationships with all of you we've been hanging out on this zoom for literally like 13 hours now so i think socially we've all became friendly with each other so it's been a great time and also it's it's very nice because i don't know a lot of people who actually like or watch survivor so it's now i know a group of people who i could actually have like a conversation with so it's it's very nice that's like the best part because I have nobody to talk to about it except my boyfriend but yeah right well that being said jury you get your chance to cast your vote 
please remember that you are voting for a winner. Well, Brett made a, a good choice, I think, in his choice of uh, who to bring with him to the end. And I wanted Celestina to, to tell me that some of her uh, nice game was an act, and unfortunately she didn't do so. So I am voting for Brett. But I lied to you. I, I wrote your name down because I'm voting for you to win. You killed a girl. Good job. I think, given where you started, both within the game and I think within your brain, you definitely played the best game. Believe in yourself. Thought about doing what we've been doing, like eight of these tribals, and letting a wheel take it, but I figured that'd be kind of kind of rude. So I am going with Brett. Knocked me on the wall set. I feel like that's outweighs a little bit of uh, Celestina, but I think they both did great. Did not think I was going to be writing down this name. My vote. I bet you would love me to go get the votes right now. Yeah. Okay, cool. be nice. right, I'll go get the votes. For a second, I thought you were going to say, but I won't. We have jet to wait until the jet episode airs. Jet ski. Jet ski. <laughs> jet ski. <laughs> okay, so now that I got the votes, do you want me to read them or should I keep them? I don't know. Read, read them. <laughs> burn them. Burn them. No, kidding. Cancel right. the season. I'm not sure if you would stay here, so. I'll read the votes. First vote, Brett. Second vote, Celestina. Brett. Celestina. That's two votes, Celestina. What does it say on the bottom? Two votes, Brett. Oh. Brett. The winner of Survivor, Iriki Islands, Brett. Yay! Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, Brett. Good job. <laughs> Congrats, guys. Thank you so much. Specialist for all. Yeah. Congratulations, Brett. You are the winner of Survivor or Ricky Islands. Congratulations. Thank you. It was fun. Congrats. Congrats. Congrats.